Welcome back, Urx Hollow again with a tutorial. This time we are going to be talking about the new glitch that has turned Shadow War upside down. Hired by email, or HPE for short. This glitch allows you to recruit any captain from the army screen, within mere seconds and with almost no setup. The simplicity of how to perform it makes it very accessible to anyone and its usefulness comes in the form of many benefits to the player. Big thanks to the community members who helped with the discovery and testing involved to bring this tutorial to you. To be able to use HBE, you need to have a controller. If you don't have one, you will have to rely on the Siege Surrender method shown in the previous video, but that only works on unbreakable Uruks and not all logs. Additionally, you will need Bodyguard Upgrade unlocked. For this demonstration, I am going to be recruiting some captains in the first row in Minas Morgul. Captains in these slots tend to gain Iron Will and Unbreakable, so they are perfect for showing what this glitch will allow us to do. The first step is to assign a follower as our bodyguard. Ideally, our bodyguard will be near the enemy we want to recruit in the army screen. Now position the cursor over your bodyguard and very slowly use the left stick to move the screen to the enemy captain and hit the command button right as the selection switches to him. If you see the blue circle, it means you are moving too fast. Hitting the command button at the right moment brings up this verification prompt while we have the enemy captain selected. All we gotta do now is hit yes and this will allow us to assign the enemy as our bodyguard, turning him into an ally instantly. Getting this to work may take you a few tries, but there are a few things you can do to make it easier. I find that zooming in helps a lot. Also, if you are on PC, capping your frame rate to the lowest setting will allow you to succeed more consistently. I have the most success when I hit command early, and immediately after hit no and command in quick succession, only allowing the screen to scroll a few pixels each time. Let's go over some important notes before you try this out. It doesn't matter if our bodyguard is right next, above or below the target, as long as we can scroll between the two. This glitch only works on captains. Warchiefs and overlords will not allow you to recruit them. HPE works on any captain. You can recruit Iron Will and Unbreakables, like Baz, Gaz, Daz and Zog, captains much higher level than you. Dead captains. Undead captains, unknown captains, and even captains you are actively fighting. HPE does not work during online sieges, except on Lithlad. You can use HPE during Nemesis missions. But you must keep in mind that captains will continue to fight, even if you recruit all of them with the glitch. If you want the fighting to stop, you need to manually dominate one of them. You should never use HPE on a captain who is involved in a rescue mission. Doing so may cause a random captain in the army screen to be instantly replaced by a new spot. Now let's see some of the more interesting things you can do with HPE. HPE is a great tool for speedrunning, as it allows you to gather allies quickly for sieges. The only disadvantage is that you get no XP from recruiting captains this way. This glitch completely removes the need to shame higher level or iron willed captains. If you don't like the shame mark, or don't feel like risking the traits of a follower that betrayed you, HPE is the best way to go. You can use HPE to resurrect enemy captains, as long as they were not beheaded. After assigning a dead enemy as your bodyguard, you are given the option to raise him. Alternatively, if the dead captain you are using HPE on is cheating death, you will do so as an ally. Unless, he comes back as a legendary scar, in which case he will revert back to enemy. 
Using HP on a follower that is cheating death allows you to assign him as your bodyguard. Summoning him will prevent him from betraying you. You can do something similar to HPE but with death threats. By having an active death threat mission you will get a verification screen for trying to create a new one. This allows you to send death threats to your own captains and level them up for free. This leads to some hilarious stuff if you actually attend the mission. Also, you can use this to send a death threat to Zog the Eternal. Doing so will reveal some unused dialogue from Talion. A necromancer never truly dies, Zog. But I'll see what I can do with you. You can use HPE to command Bruce during the tutorial portion of Act 2. Not much can be done with him besides assigning him as your bodyguard or making him deranged just because you can. You can have it. It's your fault, right? <laughs> your fault. And that is all you need to know about how to use the Hired by Email glitch. If you got any questions, be sure to put them in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Time to earn our keep! Bruce lives!